My warmest greetings to you. You are listening to episode 17 of the 111 Tips for Learning a Language. Be in your comfort zone as you listen to my voice. Your goal is to learn in the most relaxed way possible. In this episode, we are going to talk about using different expressions when we read one single sentence. Let's pick the sentence. Ah, first thing tomorrow morning, I will go for a long run. How do I sound when you hear me speak? You would gather that I sound rather neutral about my morning run tomorrow. Well, maybe it's a routine for me and I'm not very excited about going for a run tomorrow. In other words, this long run, let's say, perhaps it is 20 kilometers. Well, it doesn't bother me the slightest bit. Now, I am going to read this sentence in a different way. Ah, first thing tomorrow morning, I will go for a long run. Well, how do I sound like to you now? You may hear the dread right from the very beginning of the sentence. My ah sounds resigned and regretful even. You can hear how I emphasize on the word long. Well, you can infer from the expression of my voice that I don't want to go on a 20 kilometers run, but somehow I have to for whatever reason. Three times a charm, they say. How about I try my sentence this way now? Ah, first thing tomorrow morning, I will go for a long run. Do I sound excited about my 20 kilometers run tomorrow morning? I sure hope so, because that is the expression I am trying to convey to you. My voice is raised at ah, and can you guess where? Yes, at long run. In this sentence, I am thrilled to run first thing in the morning and distances my game anytime. So there you have it. Three different sentences in three different expressions. The first one is neutral, while the second one is of dread and resignation, while the third one is of excitement and happiness. Would you like to try your own sentence out? Pick a sentence. See how your voice changes when you try to do neutral, dread and excitement. With that, I will leave you to it. I wish you inspired learning. Keep in touch and you will hear from me in our next episode.